Hello everyone and good day. Welcome to our Bible study. And pagpalaid po tayong lahat ng ating Panginoong Isus sa ating paghahanap ng kanyang kalwalhatian at ng kanyang karunungan sa araw na ito. Our topic today or our passage is from the book of Matthew. Matthew, if you have Bible with you, you can open and bear with us. We can read the Matthew book of Matthew, sixteen verses, twenty-one to twenty-three. Matthew sixteen verses, twenty-one to twenty-three. From that time on, Jesus began to say plainly to his disciple, "I must go to Jerusalem and suffer much." From the elders, and and from the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, I will be, I will be put to death. But three days later, I will be raised to life. Peter took took him aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid it, Lord, he said. That must never happen to you jesus turned around and said to peter get away from from me satan you are an obstacle on my way because these thoughts of your of yours don't come from god but from human nature amen pagpalain po tayo ng diyos sa pagkabasa natin ng kanyang salita mula sa matthew 16 Verses twenty-one to twenty-three. Let us pray, mga kapatid. Amin just sa langit, malamig sa lamat sa araw na ito. We thank you, Lord, for for this time and day, Lord God, and opportunity, Lord God, to give our worship, to give our praises, to seek you in our in our light, Lord God. Lord, as we continue to study your word, you may continue, Lord, to reveal to us the words, the message today that bring us in the in the in the in the understanding, Lord God, and application in our life, Lord God. Lord, you may continue to work in our lives as you deserve this glory and honor, Lord. You deserve the highest praises, highest worship, Lord God, because you are our God. In your name, O Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Brethren, let us continue our study. Matthew 16, verses 21. To twenty-three is about the Lord Jesus when he going to Jerusalem. This is the next to final ministry of the Lord Jesus on earth. So, what does it mean? This. Uh, Matthew 16 verses 21 to 23 is about a temptation temptation uh, to, to the Lord Jesus so what was the meaning and purpose of the Lord Jesus temptation recorded on that book of Matthew and even Luke The three temptation by Satan's in the wilderness. We remember the temptation of the Lord Jesus when he made the the fasting in the wilderness, and we're not only temptation our Lord ever suffered on earth. We read in Luke four two. Luke 4.2 says, 
for 40 days being tempted by the devil, and he ate nothing during those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. That he has tempted by the devil for 40 days, but he was undoubt undoubtedly tempted at other times <coughs> like we read in Matthew and even recorded the other temptation uh, from the book of Luke 13 and <coughs> book of Luke 22 verse 42 and yet in all this he was without sin or compromise. <clears throat> Although some have suggested that the Lord's period of lasting compares with that of both Moses that we can read in Exodus 34, 28. And even Elijah also. Those experience of temptation from 1 King 19.6 or 198 <clears throat> the main point is how the Lord deals with the temptation in the light of his humanity remember that the Lord was tempted and it is because he is human and made like us in every way that he could do three vital things Three vital things. Number one is destroy the devil's power and free those who were held in slavery by their fear of death. Number two, be become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God and atone for our sins. And number three, be the one who is able to sympathize with us in all our weaknesses and infirmities. Our Lord's human nature enables Him to sympathize with our own weaknesses because He was subjected to weakness. More importantly, we have high priest who is able to intercede uh, our behalf and provide the grace of forgiveness. Temptation is never as great as when we has made a public declaration of faith as did our Lord when he was baptized in the Jordan River. It was recorded in Matthew 3, 13-17. Matthew 3, 13 to 17 says, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to John the Baptist to baptize him by him. John would have prevented him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now for those it is fitting for us. However, we also know that during this time of exhaustive testing, our Lord was also ministered to by angels. A ministry or a, mi a mystery in the, that the omnipotent one should be cons condescend to receive such help from a lesser beings. Here is a beautiful description of the ministry that his people also benefit from. From or during times of testing and trial. We too are aided by angels who are ministering spirit sent to those who will inherit salvation according to Hebrews 1.14. 
The Lord Jesus' temptations follow three patterns that are common to all men. The first temptation concerned the lust of the blessed. Lust of the blessed, according to Matthew 4, 3 to 4. Matthew, 3 to, Matthew 4, 3 to 4 says, And the temper came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become loops of bread. But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. And here the devil uses a verses. Uh, Matthew 4, 3, 4. Our Lord is hungry that time. And the devil tempts him to convert stones into bread. But he replies with the scripture, quoting Deuteronomy 8, 3. The second temptation concerns the pride of life, according to Matthew 4, 5, 7. Then the devil took him to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall command his angel concerning you on their hand, they will bear you up, list you. And here the devil uses verse of scripture according to Psalm 91, 11, 12. Yun yung kinot ni, ng, ng devil. Psalm 91 verse, verses 11, 12. But the Lord replies again with the scripture to the contrary. Deuteronomy 6.16 stating that it is wrong for him to be abused his own powers. The third temptation concerned the lust of the eyes from Matthew 4, 8 to 10. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All this I will give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written. Amen. And if any quick crowd to the Messiah could be attained by passing the Passion and Crucifixion, For which he had originally come. This was the way the devil already had control over the kingdoms of the world. Isaiah 2 2 or Ephesians 2 2, in which he once walked, following the course of the world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience but was now ready to give everything to Christ in return for his allegiance. But the mere thought all, almost cause or causes the Lord's divine nature to shudder at some, a such concept. And he replies sharply, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. According to Deuteronomy 6.13 There are many temptations that we sadly fall into because our flesh is naturally weak. Even at this moment or even at this time in our lives, we experience or are we facing a lot of temptation in our life. But we should Thank the temptation, and we should learn about the temptation uh, from the Lord Jesus and to apply to our lives. But we have God. If we experience this very strong temptation in our lives, 
the same as the we mentioned temptation to the Lord Jesus we should always remember that we have God who will not let us to be tempted beyond that we can bear he will provide a way God is always provide us the way according to 1 Corinthians 10 13 no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability but with the temptation he will also provide a way to his of escape that you may be able to endure it amen this is first corinthians 10 13 that god always provide us the way to escape from the te this kind of temptation in the world we can therefore to to be victorious and then we'll thank the lord for deliverance from temptation Jesus experience in the desert help us to see this common temptation that keep us from serving God effectively and furthermore we learn from Jesus response to the temptations exactly how we are to respond with the scripture the forces of evil come to us with a myriad of temptations, but all have the same three things of their core, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. We can only recognize and combat this temptation by saturating our hearts, saturating our hearts and minds with the truth what is the truth the word of god the goodness of god the armor of the christian so uh, soldier in a spiritual battle of life includes only uh, only one offensive weapon or weapon the swords of the spirit which is the sword of God, according to Ephesians 6, 17. And take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the sword of God. This is Ephesians 6 to 17. Knowing the Bible intimately will put the sword in our hands and enable us to be victorious ever over temptations in our lives is a lot of temptation every day we face temptation but through the word of god we can overcome uh, we can overcome temptation How to overcome temptation? Knowing the Bible. Knowing the Word of God. Intimately. And we and will put sword in our hands and enable us to be victorious over those temptations. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful uh, revelation, a fresh revelation, Lord God, that comes from your story lord god uh, and um and the purpose of temptation lord god and um we give thanks to you lord god about this message lord god that we should be aware about temptation lord god we should put our uh, our days in seeking your word lord god through reading the bible and praying lord god so we can over overcome those temptation in our lives lord god as the same like you lord god that we should not to put ourselves 
in every temptation but declaring that you are our our king that you are our god in this life we thank you for everything lord for you deserve the glory you deserve the honor you deserve the highest praise you deserve the worship in your name O oh lord jesus we pray with thanksgiving amen 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 and thank you everyone once again uh, we would like to give our appreciation and and thanks to our friends sa ating mga kapatid dyan na patuloy na nagbibigay ng kanilang oras para tayo ay samahan sa ating Bible study naniniwala po ako na ang Diyos ay magbibigay sa inyo ng pagpapala hindi lang po pagpapala para sa buhay ninyo maging sa buhay ng pamilya nyo po magkakaroon po kayo ng uh, protection magkakaroon po kayo ng uh, pagpapala na uh, hinihiling mula sa inyong mga puso alam po ng Diyos ang laman ng ating mga puso at isipan Marami pong salamat at magkita-kita po tayo pong muli bukas sa ganito uling oras. At uh, God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.